true. Dynamite consists of a chemical solution absorbed in porous material. The chemical solution is a compound of sulfuric acid, nitric acid, and glycerol. It is called nitroglycerin. In its liquid state, nitroglycerin contains 20 to 60 times the explosive power of dynamite. Last summer, in an industrial neighborhood in Kansas City, Missouri, a man named Edward Gleason accidentally created nine gallons of nitroglycerin. For the next 30 minutes, nitro. This is an electroplating shop. The object of electroplating is to deposit a layer of metal on another metal for the purpose of ornamentation, protection against corrosion, or the building up of worn parts. What's it up to? Uh, 75 gallons sulfuric, two glycerin. I, uh, I think you better bring up the sulfuric. Uh, figure about uh, three more gallons. All right. OK. Commercial electroplating is done by sending direct current through aqueous solutions, which contain ions of the metals to be plated. On July 27th, at 3.05 in the afternoon, Ed Gleason was mixing an electrolyte solution of sulfuric acid and glycerin. three gallons. Let's get out of here. All right, now, now listen to me, and this is important. When I say go, I want you all to start moving out of here. Don't make any noise. Don't knock at anything. You understand? What's the idea? Oh, sure. no, no, Just listen to me. Watch your step. Okay. Now move. And take it easy. Real easy. What's going on? Get, get the people out of the office. Get them in the street. Tell them I'll meet them there. Well, what's the matter? Call the police. Not here. Use the street phone. Tell them we have nine gallons of nitro on our hands. Three gallons of nitric acid added to 75 gallons of sulfuric acid and two gallons of glycerin. One heavy layer in the tank was now nine gallons of nitroglycerin. 